Hey guys, uh, it's Agent Zero here. I make NBA 2K videos. Have you subscribed yet? Well, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Also, second channel link in the description, almost at 200K, y'all been showing a lot of love, I appreciate that. Okay, here's why I'm depressed. <laughs> I play part, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I used to play every mode, you know, back in the day, back in my heyday. You know, 2K16, Agent, I played a whole lot of Pro-Am, I played a whole lot of Park, I played a whole lot of my team, I played a whole lot of my GMI League, and you know what, I even dabbled in some play now. You know, uh, 20. 20 agent, I just been playing the part. Occasionally play pro -Am. that's about it. I mean, I can't play my league, my GM no more because they're not even trying on those modes. They don't even want to look as if they're trying. They just want people to know that they fully neglect those modes every single year, so there's really no point. On the my team side, my wallet just started to feel pain. Like true misery, like it has nerves connected to it and a whole central nervous system. It was going through a breakdown. So I had to stop playing that too. So here I am now, I'm playing part, you know what I'm saying, for most part. And even that's debatable. Y'all be in the comments talking about some, Agent, why you hiding your rep? Oh my God, I sit there every video telling y'all I don't really be playing. How could I be hiding the fact that I'm not playing? I'm telling y'all that. Agent, why aren't you playing? Well, hold on right there, buddy. I'll let you know. Well, the gist of it is there's no f new content. What am I supposed to do, right? Every other game I play, regardless of whether or not it's Apex Legend, Valorant, could be Call of Duty Warzone, there's seasonal content. Some of it is free, some of it is paid for. They make their money how they make their money. I'm not mad at that. Although sometimes I am, depending on whether or not it's seen as very malicious. <laughs> What I'm trying to say, bro, is that they're not even trying this year. I mean, they have a rotation of park events, cool. But is that really content, though? First of all, most of the park events are recycled. That's fine. But they did add some new park events. But that's it, though? It's the same layout of a neighborhood I have to see for the second year in a row. And we know what happened the last time they did that. 2K16 to 2K17, everybody was pissed. Now everyone pretends as if 17 was wavy. No, no, no. I'm gonna remind y'all, because I was there in the moment. Everybody hated that shit. Everybody. Not only was it the worst servers of any 2K imaginable, but the park events they tried to do went out fucking disastrous. And it was a recycled park. The only people that should say 2K17 was great are Pro-Am players. That's it. If you're playing park and you say that, you weren't thinking straight. Or that must have been your first 2K. Cause we, I know what it was like in the community at the time. And it was a consensus that that game was ass. From the fucking loading screen that wouldn't finish to the goddamn Ah, oh, uh, I'm losing it. I'm starting to lose it, man. This is why I'm depressed, guys. Just thinking about this. So, all right, we do get some content in park events, but a few months into the damn year, we already been through the all imaginable park events. And I get it. For my team, it's easy. Okay, cool. This, this tweets like this just makes me a little bit sadder inside. This tough fireball with my Galaxy Opal and NBA 2K's new next packs. Look, look, the my team guys get new. They just got Lamelo's not even in the NBA, man. And they got that content. I don't think in the history of 2K have we ever seen a player not in the NBA in a My Team pack. Am I bugging? So they get new packs and bundles and collections and you could play this new mode and this new to unlock this new player. And so there's always things moving. It feels like there's something to attain. What is there to attain for the park players? And you can't sit there and tell me it's winning park events because there's glitches for legend, for mascots, there's glitches to win the clothes or the like the, the, the prizes you get at the park events. So it's like there's a glitch to win everything of value. That on top of the fact that even when you aren't glitching to get it, a lot of the times the people that win are just glitching or boosting. So how am I enticed to play a mode where I know that the person that wins most likely cheated? I'm supposed to spend four or five hours out of my day to be the small select itty bitty group of people that want it legitimately? Hmm? I'm genuinely curious what the art team is doing, bro. What are they, what do they do? What is the art team? It's not one guy. What is the team of people that design levels? What do they do? Yeah, let me, give me right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Thank you looking out. Appreciate that. So most other dev teams understand that. Like, yo, if you want people to come back and keep playing your game, you gotta give them something fresh. And you know, I guess we get clothes and shit. And like they put clothes in the stores, they update that kind of frequently. I feel like I'm asking for the bare minimum and I'm not even getting that. This is how usually relationships break apart, guys. <laughs> I'm married to the game. 
<laughs> I'm so corny. Oh my god. Hey, so that's how I'm feeling. Y'all be telling me I'm not hiding nothing. I don't care if people don't think I play the game. I'm telling y'all that. In fact, I'm dropping a gameplay video either tomorrow or the next day, and it's gonna be 2K19. You know why? Because when I hop on 2K19, me and the people I play with aren't miserably f***ing depressed, man. I genuinely enjoy that game. Crazy, because I, I said that since time, man. I try to tell everybody, man, if they just changed the contest system like this, then it would have been f***ing flawless. Just like this, guys. So I'm already kind of sad about the fact that there's no new content on the park side. And don't try and convince me what they're giving us counts as new content, all right? It's not. New content would be if they said, hey guys, it's been six months, eight, eight months since the, nine months since, ten months since the game launched. Here's two new arenas you guys can play in 3v3 Pro-Am. In Venice Beach and Rucker Park. That's content. We understand that you guys aren't really happy with all the dribble packages in the game. Here are some new dribble packages you guys can use. Hey guys, we understand that slashers, y'all love contact dunks. Here's a new package of contact dunks to use. That's what content looks like. Just to let you know, in case maybe we forgot since we haven't seen it in so long. So I'm already kind of disappointed about that. Then I get a little bit more miserable when I know that we're going through the next 2K cycle. And we don't really know shit. And we thought for a moment we might know some shit. And then we've been bamboozled again. Absolutely and positively bamboozled, ladies and gentlemen. So NBA 2K put out this tweet. We're coming on TikTok tomorrow and dropping hashtag NBA 2K20 info. Excuse me? I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I'm belated. Oh, no, elated. Belated would be the thing you do when you're late to something. And so I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm feeling myself. All right, okay, hold on. Now let me just calm down. You know what I'm saying? So you hop on TikTok and you follow their TikTok because of course you want to know the information. And this is the post they put out, by the way. This is the post. told me they were gonna announce something in two days. So then I went to the place where they were gonna announce it and all they did was announce that they were gonna announce something. Oh no, man, oh no. 2K just teased an announcement where they teased an announcement. And that announcement that they're busy teasing is wildly irrelevant. Cause really we wanna see gameplay. We already know Kobe's gonna be on the special edition, legend edition, whatever they call it. And they're probably gonna put Zion or something like that on the main, they might even put Lonzo on there, man. You never know. But regardless, the game inside is still the same, so I don't care. There's people that genuinely sit there and make purchase decisions based off of who's on the cover. And those are my favorite kind of people. I like to like, I just wanna throw you in a lab and investigate like what is going on in your head. <laughs> Do you know it's gonna be the same game regardless, man? And most of y'all be buying it digital. If you're buying it digital and you still care what's on the cover, then I wanna take you, put you in a secret lab underground somewhere in Las Vegas. And I wanna ask questions. <laughs> so that everybody's clued in on NBA 2K's TikTok because we just wanna know more. And th these are what the next few posts look like. NBA 2K21 in-game soundtrack sneak peek which I'm gonna mute because I don't wanna catch copyright. You know what's crazy? I actually had a conversation with the guy that works on the soundtracks for 2K. And I felt bad for him because like, he has to go through a lot to get the license just to be able to do this. And it costs 2K a lot of money, but they do it because it's a selling point. For some reason, people care. But do people really care though? That's the real question. I feel like the soundtracks are only significant as so that five years from now, when you hear one of these songs from Polo G, Roddy Rich, or Stormzy, you're gonna be like, Oh shit, that was 2K21. That's all they're good for, that's it. Nostalgia, five years from now. They're doing new scans for NBA 2K21. Yep, yep, new scans, so. And you know what's crazy is I wish instead of making this kind of content, which I guess is fine, they should show y'all what that process is like. Cause I've been in the scanning booth before and it's really dope. You're surrounded by over a hundred cameras and they make you do a whole bunch of facial expressions and they take photos of those facial expressions and they can immediately just throw it on your player and it animates your facial. It's crazy. That would be incredible content. Maybe they will do that at some point. And then they just today, I think posted, two hours ago posted this Mike Wang. Mike Wang, you're alive, yeah! Mike is alive, ladies and 
gentlemen, we didn't know where he went. Mike is like the absentee father of the 2K community. He'd just be disappearing, but when he comes back, man, it's all love, Mike. Tell us more. This is how long it'll take NBA 2K21 to load on next gen. 2K21. <sighs> Mike. Mike, I need you to blink twice if you're being held hostage, man. You don't look like you wanna be there, Mike. What the hell? <laughs> hey, Mike, can you bother telling us if the game is gonna release on this gen before next gen? What the, could we get some, we want, that's what we really wanna know. We don't care about the low, actually we did in 2K17, but since then it's not really a big deal. Actually, in 2K18, when you put up the My Player Lab, it still took a while and that was kind of frustrating. So we didn't really care that much, and except, Sometimes you really just, you lag forever and it takes forever to load into the park. So maybe, turns out we do care, Mike, but I want you to explain to us in depth. Like, are we talking two seconds? Are we talking two seconds? I genuinely get horny over that. No cap. I don't know why 2K thinks that their best, you know, promotional strategy this year is to do it all on TikTok. I guess they know that whatever they do on TikTok is gonna be reposted everywhere, so. Well, in that token, it doesn't really matter where they do it, because if they do it somewhere else, it'll be reposted to TikTok. But probably the most interesting thing that they posted, and something I wish they did more frequently, because we only ever know of this through leaks, is uh, new dunk animations, and they recorded the whole process. And everybody got their little mocap suits on. You can see their little studio with their millions of cameras. That's dope. That's dope content to me. You should get this guy right here doing all the dunks to vlog the whole thing and post it on your YouTube channel. I'm, like, do y'all need me working for the team or something? Like, what's going on? Why y'all missing out on these content opportunities, man? The content guy was like, all right, let's take like seven dunks, put this surprised emoji right here, and then uh, let's post it onto TikTok and nowhere else. <laughs> Brilliant strategy. <laughs> it's June, it's almost July, guys, and my team is getting packs, packs, packs. It's easy for my team. It takes one guy, like four hours. All he has to do is create the player, which is not gonna be hard. They probably got a face scan for LaMelo. Apply some tendencies, attributes, badges. Then you're gonna turn around. All you gotta do is design a graphic for the guy so you can upload the card. A card has a design and everything. That takes like one hour maximum. And then by the end of the night, you just apply him to some collections and put him in a box and call it a day, man. Boom, you just made yourself probably millions of dollars. Millions. That simple, one guy, six hours, a lot of incentive. In the same token, 2K could just continue to do that in the park. But really for what though? Like clothes, I guess, aesthetic stuff, I guess. But the content I'm talking about and how I wanna end the video is I need like new level designs. I need new animation packages. I need like something fresh, like a new, like a new mode, like surprise me, 4v4 Pro-Am, like I need something. And not in the same cookie cutter layout, just slap a different skin on the playground and call it a day, put a big Reese's box in the playground and call it a, no. I dead ass, and I'm not joking. If someone from the art team at 2K is watching this, I want to interview you. I'm not trolling, I'm being so for real. I have so many questions on why the game is the way it is. And I feel like you have all the answers, but nobody knows who you are. So that's a problem, because we would like to know. So uh, just reach out to me on Twitter or something, or on my email, which is on my Twitter. Thank you. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Second link channel in the description, all right? Almost at 200K, appreciate y'all for showing love. Most of y'all been subscribed already. So uh, yeah, just doing reactions, vlogs, IRL basketball stuff, all linked. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.